Well, hello again. Here I am with another video. It's been a while, but I'm back again and I have a video about how to color a textured painting. This crackle I made with a, a wall filler. I'm not showing this on YouTube because that's exclusive for my uh, students, but I have an ebook about this, about all the crackle techniques that I have and uh, I have also a course for you that's called 30 days of crackle joy I will leave the links below this video well I put on my apron and let's get started with the colors um, if you choose a color then uh, the most easy way is to choose colors from one family so in this case I will choose only the blues and that makes uh, coloring easy uh, I work with fluid colors and also with uh, some uh, pigment powders I have a lot of blues but I'm using only three or four color blues I work from a darker surface so I spray some black blister you need darker colors below and the lighter colors on top it's also important to have a color value if you stay till the end I have a tip for you how to um, check if your color values are right and color values means that you have to have light middle and dark colors in your painting The blues again on the paper <laughs> I have a lot you see but I only use now three or four colors I have the Pebeos I like the Pebeos Colorex and also the Amsterdam inked ac acrylic inked and the high fluid uh, from golden I like to work with fluid colors because they find their own way in the texture and that makes makes it easy to color. Here you can see the um, high colored from of the high fluid from golden, some water in a spray bottle, and you see also now I have a dark color and a light color next to each other. So then I spray the water and I move my painting so the paint can run through the texture and find his own way and this is a middle uh, color value so you can see them now next to each other the dark the light and the middle color if you keep the color values uh, in your mind then you can't go wrong color values and colors from one family and you can't go wrong with your um, coloring your textured painting this way your colors also blend easily together I now have chosen for only blues but you can also combination make a combination uh, from blues and greens or blues and purples so you can also take that colors uh, that's also from uh, one family what I call one family <laughs> you can see I don't use a brush I only use my spray bottle and my fingers but the colors that I use the brands that I use are high pigment so you get uh, some blue uh, fingers but I don't mind I also love to work with uh, pigment powders this is a power effect from Powertex and that's a color that changes um, it needs a dark background and you see it looks white but when I put it on my painting then it becomes purple so that's a beautiful effect 
you need some wet paint to make the powder stick on, the, on your painting. So first I bring some paint on and then I put the uh, powder on the wet paint. The wool filler crackle uh, gives a rough texture and I love that, the roughness of the crackle. And um, if you want to know how to make this crackle, I have already told I have an ebook where I, where you can find my uh, crackle techniques. And I have also a course uh, that's called 30 days of crackle joy. And in the end of March 2024, <laughs> I have a nice uh, discount for you because then it's my birthday and I have um, 65 euros discount for you because I turn uh, 65 on March 28. So wait till then and you have a big discount for this unique crackle techniques and when you buy the course you get the ebook as a bonus well i'm almost there <laughs> with the blues it's it's easy to to color this way you must try it because it's fun and you get a beautiful result and here i use my hair dryer to make the colors a little bit drier because I lose use a lot of water and the colors are also high fluid so then it sometimes is nice to get a dry surface again so that's what I'm doing here <laughs> but I'm not there yet because you can see on top there is some uh, light and uh, some middle values but at the bottom that's too much the middle too much one value of color so I must change that so again I uh, take the lightest blue and bring some light value at, uh, at the bottom of the painting and let it run Just a little bit metallic, just a little bit shine, but not too much.
when um, you ha need some extra light, you can use some gesso because gesso will um, the color under the gesso will come through the gesso, so you can't go. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to be afraid that it becomes only white because it always uh, comes through the gesso. So I have a little bit gesso on my fingertop and I'm just tapping the gesso in the color and you can see what it does because it gives some extra light in your painting on special parts of your painting. Just keep playing with your colors layer upon layer. Well, I have an extra tip for you. If you want to uh, check your color value, then take a picture on black and white. Here you can clearly see the light part, the middle part and the darker parts. Well, at the end, let's take a closer look at the texture, the crackle and the colors and I love this color combination I hope you love it too